Hello, I'm Mark Taylor, and today I'm going to show how you can quickly get up and running with MQ's Advanced Message Security feature. In this demonstration, we'll be using three different users, an MQ administrator and the traditional Alice and Bob. Alice will put messages, which Bob will then get from a queue. While at rest on the queue, the messages are protected by MQ's Advanced Message Security feature. Starting with the MQ administrator, we define the queue that's going to hold the messages. Once the queue is available, we create a security policy for the queue that says that messages will be encrypted but not signed. This is the new confidentiality option available with MQ version 9. Select an encryption algorithm, allow the same key to be reused for multiple messages for best performance, and say that only Bob will be allowed to get the messages. Both Alice and Bob need to be authorised to connect to the queue manager and put and get messages. Next, we have to set up the certificates for each user and tell AMS where to find them. The default location where AMS looks for a user's configuration is in the .mqs subdirectory of their home directory. So we'll create that directory and put the key store there too. For simplicity, I'm going to use self-signed certificates. Once Bob's personal certificate and key has been created, the public key needs to be made available to other users, so we export the certificate. Finally, the AMS configuration file is created in the default directory to show the location of the key store and which certificate belongs to Bob. We need to do something similar for Alice. Start by creating her personal certificate in the same way as for Bob. But then we don't need to export Alice's public keys. Instead, we only need to import Bob's certificate so Alice can get access to Bob's public key for the encryption. Using the encryption only policy can reduce the amount of certificate management and exchange that's needed, as the receiver of a message doesn't need to know anything about the sender. Once the key store is ready, again, create the AMS key store configuration file. Now that the certificates and keys have been set up, we can start to put messages to the queue. The integration of AMS into the queue manager means that no changes are needed to the application. In this case, the AMQS put sample program. Alice puts a few messages. To demonstrate that the messages really are protected, we switch to the MQ administration view and create an alias queue that points at the target queue. As there's no AMS security policy associated with the alias, we can browse the messages directly. But even though we can retrieve messages, the content is unreadable. Finally, Bob gets the messages from the queue and they're automatically decrypted for him. And that's how to use the new AMS confidentiality option.